In today's video, I'll show you how you can create an interesting looking transition in Premiere Pro using mainly the rotation property. And without much further ado, let's dive in into the video. In Premiere Pro, I already have the sequence set up and these are the two clips that I'll be working with. So I'm going to add it onto the timeline and I'll keep existing settings because my sequence is a 920 by 1080 resolution but the clips are not. I'll bring this clip to this other end because I want to transition from this clip onto this clip. The first thing I want to do is to increase the speed at the end of the clip. So when you right click on the clip, you can move down to show clip keyframes, time mapping and speed so that the keyframe will be shown here. Let me increase this. So you can see the keyframe. So right here, if you set in the first keyframe and you move to the end position and you set the second keyframe, this is for the speed time remapping. If you drag this like below, it will reduce the speed. And if you take it up, it will increase the speed of that area that you have selected. And this is the area that I want to add the transition. And I want it to be fast, not slow. After doing that, I'll be using the an adjustment layer to add in the transform effect. The reason why I'll be adding the transform effect onto an adjustment layer and not onto the clip I'm working with, if I'm animating the scale property of the transform effect, it tends to slow down the computer when I like when I increase the scale to a very large amount. That's not really helpful if you have a slow computer. But I found a solution that if I add it to an adjustment layer and increase the scale to any amount that I want, it does not affect the performance of the computer. So that's one thing to note. To add in the adjustment layer, you right click here and you go to new item and you take adjustment layer. Choose the frame rate you're working with. Let me just say 30 frames per second and I hit OK. Drag and drop the adjustment layer on top of the clip that I'm working with. So after adding the adjustment layer, it's time to add in the transform effect. And in Premiere Pro, to add in the transform effect, go under the effects panel and you search transform. Then you drag and drop it onto the adjustment layer. After adding the transform effect, we can now start adding the rotation and the scale property. The rotation is the main property that we're going to use and the scale is used to just adjust some certain things. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. Under the effects control, I'll scroll down until I find the transform effect. Then I'll add the first keyframe. And to add the first keyframe for the scale, I'll make sure that my playhead matches up with the first keyframe for the time ramping speed that I added here. And if it matches up, I'll set the first keyframe for the scale and the first keyframe for the rotation. Move to the second keyframe for the speed. Not exactly, but it should be close to that. Set the second keyframe for the rotation. But for the scale property, I will not set it here. I will move somewhere around here, which is not really far from the first keyframe, and set the second keyframe. And the amount for the second keyframe will be about 250. The main idea is that you should almost fill up everything on the sequence. Somewhere around there. Then for the rotation, on the second keyframe, I'll set the value to 360. Now, when I move the playhead in front, you'll see how it scales up and then rotates. To make this to be more interesting, there are two things that I'm going to do. The first is that I'll select the adjustment layer. Then, select these two keyframes for this scale and rotation. Right-click on each, so ease in. And then, select the two last keyframes. Right-click on it again and go to ease out. Under this shutter angle, I'm going to set it to 360. So what this shutter angle does is that it will add in some kind of blurry effect to it, which will make the, the rotation to be more interesting. For the sampling, I'm going to allow it a bilinear. And that's all of the effects that makes up this transition. The next thing to do is that I want to use the transition. And to use the transition, I'm just going to select these two, the adjustment layer and the clip. Drag it up to the next uh, layer at the top. Then, this is the clip that I want to transition into, so I'm going to move it to somewhere around here where the first keyframe of the time ramping speed is, begins. I'll move the second clip there so I can transition from that clip to the next clip. After doing that, I'll move to the second keyframe of this speed ramping. Then, I'm going to cut this from here and cut the adjustment layer because this is where I want it to stop exactly at the second keyframe. Hope you found this video helpful and interesting. And if you did find it helpful, do implement it in your next project and leave your feedback in the comment section below and I'll be there to read your comments. Subscribe so you won't miss the next video from me and like the video to support the channel grow. Thanks for watching and until the next one, keep editing.